Hey, welcome back everyone. In this video, we're going to learn a couple of different ways to write and execute a TCL script. Uh, the script is going to help us test connectivity between, our, between the routers and our topology. Uh, we're going to use ping uh, to ping each of the routers loopback interfaces uh, to include our own. Uh, if you haven't downloaded the EVNG uh, lab topology for this uh, yet, uh, you can do so by following the link below uh, to my Google Drive. Uh, and if you need to, you can watch the video on how to import that lab into your EVNG environment uh, from my channel as well. Uh, also, uh, uh, please be sure to subscribe if you want to get notified of uh, new video content uh, when I get it released. And then also, as always, if, uh, if you like the video, be sure to hit that like button. Okay, let's get started. So you see our, st our topology here. Uh, we've got router one, two, three, and four, all interconnected. Uh, we're running OSPF between all four of these routers. Uh, each router has a loopback zero interface uh, that is uh, identified with the router number. Uh, so what I'm using is the 10.0.0 network. So 10.0.0.1 for router 1, uh, 0.2 for router 2, 0.3, and 0.4. Uh, let's go ahead and start logging into these devices and see that information. Uh, again, all these routers, uh, the passwords are Cisco. Uh, and a simple show IP interface brief is going to show us our IP information here. This is router four. Let's go over to router one. Router one and router two. Zero two and router three. Zero three. Okay, so we're going to start off uh, here on router one, uh, and to start the script, uh, the TCL script or a tickle script, uh, we will start with the uh, TCL sh command and hit enter, and you'll see that brings us into the tickle shell uh, where we can begin writing our our script. Uh, so to start with. We do a for loop, and we say for each i, uh, and this i can be anything. I can make it apples, bananas, cats, dogs, whatever we want to. It's just, just a placeholder uh, to call back to uh, when we're running through each of the IP addresses that we want to ping. Uh, so we open curly bracket and hit enter, and we're going to start typing in our IP addresses. So 10. Zero zero one ten zero zero two ten zero zero three and ten zero zero four. We're gonna go ahead and close that off. And then we're gonna open it back up again. And this is where we're gonna do our work. Uh, so we say ping. And this is our callback callback always starts with a dollar. So we'd say dollar i, and that's just saying for each i, we're going to keep passing this IP address as we go through. So as we, as we ping our address and we finish, then we start the next one, and then the next one, and then the next one after that. Uh, so let's go ahead and do some extra stuff in here. We'll say uh, repeat. We're going to repeat, uh, say, 50 times. And we want to source that traffic uh, from our loopback zero interface. OK. And we close that off with a close curly. And then we're ready to go. Uh, all we have to do is hit Enter. And that starts running our script. So we pinged each of those interfaces, uh, loopback interfaces, 50 times from our loopback zero interface. So we pinged ourselves right here, 10001, 
reachability from 10001 to 10001 50 times. So we got router 2, and then router 3, and then router 4 right after that. So in order to quit the uh, shell process, then we just type in TCL quit, and it drops us back down. OK. So this is great, uh, but it's, it's a lot of typing. So if you want to be doing this uh, on a regular basis and don't want to have to type this on every single router, uh, you can always put it in a text editor, uh, such as Sublime, uh, like I have here. So this is the same information that we ran before. Uh, you start with the TCLSH, and then we have our for, start our for loop I with our IP addresses, close that off, and then we start our worker. We're going to ping each address 50 times and source it from the loopback interface. So all we need to do now is just copy that. I'll move this back over here, and we can go to router 2 and paste it in, and it starts running the script. Okay, TCL quit again. Okay, another thing we can do, <coughs> excuse me, is we can write this information to a file on the, on the flash of the uh, router. Uh, so with some extra information added to uh, the script, we can do this. Uh, we, we're doing the same, we're using the same information essentially, but what we're doing at the beginning, uh, we're opening the shell with TCLSH, uh, but this little guy right here, puts, is going to uh, be our key to open up a file uh, for writing uh, within, the, within the flash of the router. So we do a open brace and we say open. And we move that back. And we open. We're going to open the flash. Uh, we're going to make this file uh, test underscore ping dot TCL. And we're going to say W plus. And the W plus is to write to that file. Uh, you're always going to want to make sure as well uh, to put the uh, quotations between or put your information uh, for the file that you want to create between the quotation marks, uh, double quotes. Uh, we're going to close that off with a closed brace. We're going to open up the script. Uh, we're going to open up the script to the, the information that we're going to write to that file with that open curly bracket. Then we're going to go ahead and put in a, uh, some notes. And the notes, we use the hashtag. Uh, this is information that is not included in the script, but is included in the file that we are writing. And then again, it's just the same information that we uh, manually typed in before. Uh, for each I, open curly, our IP addresses, close curly, open curly again. What we're doing, we're pinging each IP address with that dollar I. We're repeating it 50 times, and we're sourcing it from our loopback zero. We're going to close brace that again, or close uh, curly bracket that again, and then TCL quit at the end to drop us out of the TCL shell. So all we need to do, if we want to put this on all four routers, we just copy this out. I'll move this back over here. Let's go back over to router one, and we'll paste that in. Now if we do a dir, we can see now we have a test underscore ping TCL. And uh, we can read the information from that file using more uh, flash and then the test ping dot TCL. And you can see it's the information right here that we wrote to the file. 
All right, so we've got our, our notes. Notes are here. And then the actual script that we want to run follows it. Okay. All right, so in order to run this script, what we need to do is say TCL SH. We say flash colon test underscore ping dot TCL. Hit enter and we run our script. So this is this is now on the router's flash. We can use it anytime we want to test connectivity to all four of our routers. Uh, and then if we go ahead, I'll go ahead and pull the information in. We'll paste it onto router two, paste it onto router three, paste it onto router four. And now you can see we've got that test ping TCL on router four. If I go back over to router one, copy that information here used to run the script we paste that in and it runs our script do the same thing on router 3 looking good and router 2 okay so as you can see it's a really basic script to uh, to run and use uh, very useful um, for testing connectivity. Uh, in other videos, I'm going to be uh, showing you how to actually do some configurations, uh, run configurations with TCL scripts. Uh, so be, look, be on the lookout for that. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please hit the like button. Again, subscribe, and thank you for watching.